everyone, just go to your Steam and then Properties and then Local Files. Go to Browse Local Files, and then just right click the original CSGO.exe. Go to Properties, go to Compatibility, make sure this is unchecked, and Run as Admins unchecked, and it should work fine. Okay, uh, another fix would be to go to the down part here, type in X, X box like that click on xbox and you're going to want to as soon as this loads might have to log in or whatever if it doesn't let you log in then i will also show the reg edit way to do it but you log in you go to settings go to game dvr and you just click from any from on to off and then you can close out of that and it should be off but then also you're going to have to go into reg edit which you can go to by just typing in reg edit right here pop up just click on it, it'll open it. You're going to want to go to H key underscore current underscore user, and then down here you're going to want to open up system. Then you want to click on the folder game config store. Here you want to right click modify enabled to zero. And I would also probably just leave that alone. You don't have to change that. Just change that to zero. Then you're, what you're gonna, gonna do is go into local machine. If you go into local machine, you're going to go into software, and then after you go into software, you're going to want to go into Microsoft. Then after Microsoft, you're going to scroll down and find Policy Manager. And then after you open up Policy Manager, go open up Default. Then after you open up Default, open up Application Manager, ma Management, Application Management. Then after you open up application management, you're going to want to go to click on allow game DVR, click on value, right click modify, and change that to zero. And then that should be all for the game DVR fix. I know another common error is if you go into your video settings, you before you go into the map, you have to change all your video settings to the lowest settings you possibly can before entering a match. And then as soon as you get into the match, you can then change all your settings back to how they were. Another possible fix would be this video. I will link in the description as well. Uh, I did not want to go through trying to replicate it. The video will be linked in the description. This person does not know I'm doing it, but apparently this is also another fix. As you can see from that, I think that's plenty of proof. It's also another way to fix it, just so you know. Also, another option would be, would be going to your library and right-clicking properties and going to local files and just verify, verify your game integrity catch let that load and that's probably the final thing i have to know this works and i'm sorry try and find another video